Have you ever had to replace an outlet and when you get to it you're not really sure what wire goes where or you just didn't pay attention to see what wire came off of it so that you can be sure to put the wire back on it? Well today's little tip I'm going to give you is going to help you in never having that question again. Hi, I'm Dan Giles with Let's Fix It and today's project is to show you how to wire this outlet correctly. So let's get started. Okay, if you're looking at your outlet, you're going to notice a couple of things that might strike you as being a little odd. But there's a rhythm and a method to this. On one side, you've got a green screw and these two silver colored screws. On the other side, you have these brass colored screws. Well, there's a reason for this. And the following tip I'm going to give you is going to explain in full detail and clarity as to what the wiring is for this outlet to, to pretty much save you any troubles down the line. So here we go. Okay, for demonstration purposes I've cut me a small piece of Romex wire. This is actually a direct burial kind of wiring, but for this demonstration it's, it's really all I need. And in any Romex, you're going to have three connectors like this. You're going to have your hot leg, your neutral, and the ground. Well, if you look at your receptacle, the large side of this plug is your ground side. So what you want to do, or actually your neutral side, so on your wiring, you're going to want to loop this. And when you install this on the screw, if that's what you need to do, you need to install it in a way that it's going to, the loop itself is going to be in the direction that the screw would tighten up. So we're going to slip it over that to where it's going to the right from the left and we'll tighten that up. Now remember I told you that the silver side was for the neutral. Now here's where the little tip is. Your ground, which is the green screw, is going to be the bare copper wire. Whenever you're wiring this, your ground side and your neutral side are always the same. So if you have any questions as to which side this white wire goes, look for the device or look at the device if you see the ground screw on this side, then you know your white wire is going to go with that as well. Alright, I've gone ahead and looped my ground, and I'll tighten that up. I'll put a loop in my hot leg. And remember, you want to go to the right with that loop so that when you tighten this down it's actually going to pull that wire around instead of pushing it away tighten that one up and that's your wiring on that device as I said your ground wire is always going to indicate that that side of this outlet is going to be where your neutral wire or your white leg is going to attach. I hope that simple little trick helps you. Okay, the last item that I really need to talk about and, and discuss with you is a thing called reverse polarity. Now, what this is simply is it's talking about reversing your neutral wire and your hot leg where your neutral is actually on the hot leg side and your hot leg is actually on your neutral side. This causes reverse polarity. Now the problem with reverse polarity is that in certain circumstances it can be dangerous. Now we're talking about plugging in expensive laptops and desktop computers and refrigerators and refrigerators coming now with computer boards and circuitry in them that they, these items need the correct voltage and the correct wiring in order to operate. The problem with reverse polarity is it could do damage to those circuits and actually cause one of these appliances to just be useless to you. You could burn it up, do something to it. You, you don't want to have that. 
So th that's why it's important to make sure that you're wiring these correctly to make sure you're not creating a reverse polarity situation. Now, this little tester here, and it's, it's giving you all the, the identifying different problems that you can have in an outlet. It'll tell you if you have a reverse polarity situation, if your neutral's in the wrong spot, if your hot leg's good, if your ground is there. For 10 bucks, you can pick one of these up if you're not sure about the wiring in your home or wherever you're testing an outlet. So, you, you know, it's a cheap investment and it'll save you some headaches down the line. So, this is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It, and I hope this has been helpful to you, and I'll see you soon.